Hey everyone, today we begin in the first chapter of the book of Acts. While they were eating together, Jesus ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised. He said, this is what you heard from me, John baptized with water, that in only a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. As a result, those who had gathered together asked Jesus, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? Jesus replied, it isn't for you to know the times or seasons the Father has set by his own authority. Rather, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So I'm a part of the Churches of Christ, which are sometimes also referred to as part of the Restoration Movement. Uh, it's something that really got going in the early 19th century. As our, our founders looked around and they saw how divided Christianity was, and so they wanted to, to move towards unity, and the way they decided to do that was to go back to basics, to restore uh, early Christianity. Now, you know, we don't have time to talk about how well that's gone or uh, the process of that, but I just need to point out the, the obvious, right, that unity and restoration are both difficult to achieve. And one of the things that makes restoration difficult or a, a, a danger we can run into with it is that it can get stuck in the past. Right, that's what we hear from these disciples talking to Jesus right before he ascends to heaven. Right, is now when you're going to restore the kingdom of Israel? All right, Jesus, can't we just go back to the good old days now? Now are you going to be that king like David or a king like Solomon? Right, or is it going to be back like it was before the exile or, or before Rome? They're still stuck in their expectations, but, you know, honestly, we all have our own sort of restoration hopes. Lord, are you going to restore my health? Lord, are you going to restore my faith to what it used to be? Lord, are you going to restore the church to what it was in its glory days, or at least before this pandemic? Jesus doesn't answer any of those questions directly. Instead, he promises a spirit will move us forward, will move us into the future, instead of keeping us stuck in the past. Really, we have to think about what is the purpose of restoration. Uh, the purpose is to make it useful now. Imagine that you spend a lot of time restoring a car and you just never take it out of, the, out of the garage. Or you're restoring a house and you're busy painting it and not noticing that it's actually on fire. So what's the purpose for our restoration? If we think about the church, we think about the world. Are we trying to go back or are we trying to go forward? The Spirit is not stuck in the past, so we shouldn't be either. We should be looking, where is the Spirit leading us now? We look to the past to know where we can go.